on how to complete this assignment. So you should um, do this after you have watched um, the video lecture that I did with the slideshow for the notes. So this is just to give you some extra background. Um, you will have a quiz on this material. So make sure that you do this. Um, so the way that you complete this assignment is first, you're going to come up here and you're going to type um, your name, the date, and class period um, that you are enrolled in my course. Okay, and then you're going to just follow the directions, right? So you're going to click this link, and when you click on it, you're going to have this little drop down that comes here, and then you're going to have a link that's here, and it's going to pop you out into this article. Okay, and there's going to be like some advertisements and stuff that you have to navigate around. Um, but, you know, just do that because, you know, the, these websites, they get kind of obnoxious with the advertisements. But just read around them. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're just going to take the questions that are over here and then you're going to find the answers in the article. And they should be um, in order, right? So for the first one here. Logos is a Greek word with a variety of different meanings, including, right? And as much as possible, I've phrased these exactly the way they appear in the article. So you shouldn't have to do anything other than read the article and then copy the information that the article gives you, right? So again, your first question is right here. Logos is a Greek word with a variety of different meanings, including, right? And then you're just going to finish that sentence, okay? So if you see down here in the article, we have that sentence. So logos is a Greek word with a variety of different meanings, including reason, discourse, and plea, among others. So for question one, you're just going to complete that sentence. So including reason, discourse, and plea. Okay, and then that's the answer. Um, for number two, you're just going to do the same thing. Greek philosopher Aristotle provided a definition of logos in his work Rhetoric, where he used logos to mean blank. Okay, And you're just going to come back over here, and you're going to look for that answer again, which will be, you're just going to finish the sentence. Okay, Easy peasy, right? Things are going to get harder throughout the year, uh, so just be prepared for that. But right now, all I'm interested in doing is, is trying to help you navigate some of the technology and things we have to use because this is such a different school year. Okay, now down here, I'm asking you to do something slightly different, right? So summarize in your own words one example of logos from the article. So if we go over here, it's going to give you six examples of logos. All you have to do is read them. Pick one and then summarize it in your own words, right? So how is how is Logos used in each one of these things? You just got to choose one and then provide me an answer in your own words. Okay, next. There are three total rhetorical appeals. What are they? If you've watched the slideshow, you should already know this. As well as the rest of these answers, okay? And then the final thing that I'm asking to ask you to do here is go and find a meme for me. And here's how you do that. So we're just going to go over to our Chrome. We're going to type, I'm going to get open a new tab here. And then we're going to look up Pathos Memes. Okay. Now you're going to see we got a lot of things that just have the word Pathos in it, right? So like this one, Pathos, Pathos Everywhere. That doesn't give me an example of pathos. It just uses the word. So I can't use that one really, right? So let's look at um, pathos advertisements. So we might have to change our Google search a little bit to get the answers that you want, right? So let's do advertisements. So here's one, right? RSPCA. We got a little hedgehog here and hedgehogs are cute and we receive over 7,000 phone calls a year about litter related incidents, right? So they want us to feel bad about the hedgehogs being strangled by 
this uh, six pack of plastic rings. Okay, so that's going to be my example of pathos. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use two fingers because that's how we right click on the Chromebooks. So two fingers and I'm going to hit copy image here. Okay, so now I've copied that image. So again, I use two fingers, I right clicked and I hit copy image. So now that image is copied and now we can go back over here and we can we can add this by pressing enter a couple of times to move down my example that I gave you and we're going to right click. And we're going to right click and it hits paste. Okay, so we're going to right click two fingers and we're going to paste this in here. Okay, and we can resize it if we click up here. We can move it around if we click in the middle and click and drag. And what we want to do here is we want to change how the text works around this because we want to write next to it. Okay, so we're going to choose this middle button here. We're going to hit wrap text. If you don't, if that little box goes away, and it might, right? If you don't have it highlighted, just click on it and it'll pop right back up. And then we're going to click this middle one here. Okay. And now we're going to shrink this up a little bit so we have some room to write. And now you're going to see here that it did all this weird stuff. And I don't want it to do all this weird stuff. Okay. So we're going to click and move this up so that we have some space to write. Or we can move it down below where my stuff is and put it on the next page if we push enter a couple of times to get another page. And there we go, right? So again, you can push enter a couple of times to get another page and you can move it down or you can go above and you can push enter and it will move all of my stuff down and then you can post yours up above entirely your choice. Okay. And again, guys, what, what I'm really looking for here is just to practice with the technology. So if you don't get it 100% right, that's okay. Okay, but we're just trying to practice with the technology. So after I've answered all of the questions here, I've gone over here and I've found my meme in this other window and I've copy and pasted it and put it here. Now I want to write an explanation for why... I think this is pathos. Okay, so I'm going to write this advertisement is pathos because hedgehogs are cute. And notice I put a comma there between two independent clauses, and we don't want them to be harmed by litter. Okay, makes sense. All right, so that's what I'm asking you to do. Again, just to review, you're going to put your name, date, and class period up here at the top. You're going to click this link, read the article, answer the questions from the article, okay, and pay careful attention that you're answering all parts of the question. And then for the last part, we're going to look for a meme or an advertisement. Okay, so we go over here, do, let's do another one just to be safe, right? So let's do ethos advertisements. Okay, so here we got a picture of Jennifer Aniston and she's selling smart water. Okay, now that's ethos because she's a credible person, she's a celebrity, and that makes us think we should drink smart water. So again, all you're going to do, two fingers, right click, copy image, come back here, press enter to move this down. And then you're going to paste it by two fingers, hit paste, and there it is. Okay, and now we want to type next to it, so we're going to click this little box down here and we're going to shrink it to make it a little smaller so we have room to write and now you're going to see it's going to do all kinds of weirdness but that's okay and then we can type next to it so this is ethos because 
Make sense? Okay, guys, that's what I want you to do now. So now it's your turn, okay? Again, you're going to have a quiz on this material um, later on in the unit, and we're going to be using ethos, pathos, and logos all year in our articles of the week. So take your time and do this right.